Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with Mech Tech Keyboards with another transmission from Mechanical Keyboard World. Does it exist? <laughs> uh, I'm just being silly. So today we're taking a look at this very inexpensive board. Um, Epo Maker is selling it. Um, I got this one off of Amazon. It was listed for $29.99 I believe and I had a I want to say a seven dollar coupon i think i got it for 22 plus tax somewhere in that range um i think i'm going to keep it and play with it but i, w I just wanted to take a look at it um it is an 80 percent 84 key uh transparent case uh but the funny thing about it because it is uh, apparently trimoon but the milliamp hour battery when i first read it i, I was like oh man they missed they forgot an extra zero because it said 200 milliamp hours and no turns out it is a 200 milliamp hour battery so i'm going to assume that it has you know a standard jst connector and even if it doesn't i mean i can just borrow the one off of it so it's going to be a little project and then i want to see if i can get it to sound good it's a uh, since it's a clear case but let's just go ahead and take a look at what we've got so because yeah, I haven't opened this puppy yet, so I saw pictures of it, and I was, I, I'm a I'm a fan of the 84 or the 80 percent 84 key layout. Um, I think it's um, probably one of my favorites. Uh, it, up there with the knobs. And anyway, so we've got you know your your standard north facing LEDs. Uh, we've got compatibility for five pin swap um, switches in the sockets. We do have some uh, nice little bit of rubber there looks like we've got an entire layer now for a board this cheap to actually have a plate PCB um, foam layer that's actually not bad now these stabs they are looks like they do come with some lubrication on them and I mean they're about what you'd expect from your standard uh, stabilizers let me just take a look real quick I want to see if they require clipping or not. <clears throat> well, at least they don't require clipping. And I mean, you can, I don't know if you can see that looseness see how as it goes back and forth. I mean, obviously it needs room to move, but that's why I like and will be applying the um, plumber's tape mod to this. So that should make that that much smoother and get rid of any ticking it might have. Um, moving forward so now again like I said it's a translucent case we got the USB-C it's got a little bit of a indent there but I think it should be fine with um, most cables because this one's got a pretty square fat end on it and it still fits in there now that's another thing about this board it is not RGB it is just white LED the bluish white um, which I have a couple of boards that and I mean I don't mind as long as it has lights even though I'll say I'm not RGB crazy because I'm not, but I do prefer that a board have RGB, and I do like to use it sometimes just to give it a, to highlight the keycap, you know, the, the set colorway that I might have picked. So, <clears throat> it is white LED, obviously, so we've got the padding between the plate and the PCB, and then there we've got the wire to the tiny little battery, yeah, because it literally fits underneath that sticker because it's, um... It, it, it looks like a little piece of gum uh, or candy and there we've got the slot uh, for the uh, the uh, receiver for the 2.4 gigahertz receiver and there we've got the switch thankfully it's not one of those little tiny switches like was on the eclair um, that just breaks um, so so we should be able to with this one I uh, I mean, depending on what I do with the battery, I'm probably going to do a silicone fill with this because I think, uh, although, I mean, there is no underglow light. Well, we'll see. I'll see what I do. I, I was thinking of doing one of these clear ones and doing an actual, like, um, a sticker plate that I saw in one. I can't remember which keyboard it is. I think they call it a weight, but if I can get maybe... 3d print something and put you know a sticker on it or 
even just do a sticker on the inside but I mean obviously it's got a bunch of ribs in there or just something to where you flip it over you get something cool but it's underneath taking advantage of you know obviously something not with too much detail since it is frost I don't know maybe not maybe just here in this area and I'll cover up the battery I don't know but I think for the price um, you know and the fact that it does have the uh, the uh, compatibility for five pins um, and it doesn't need an SMD because the uh, LED doesn't stick up. I wanted to see if it had any change on caps locks. These are those are soldered switches I just took out, so they're probably not the best to try to put in there. Let's try one of these. So it does not appear to have any cap lock indicator. Just want to make sure out of curiosity. Whoa. That was weird. Alright, I don't know if you guys saw that. I just wanted to make sure that that socket was working. Um, so I guess it just doesn't do anything for cap slot. And we got the instructions. Um, function one, Bluetooth number one. Function two, Bluetooth number two. Function, so function one two, through three is the three Bluetooth slots and it's got B, Bluetooth 5.0, um, not anything newer. Uh, although 5.0 is still better than anything before that. Um, and then function 4 will give you the 2.4 gigahertz mode. Function space, the charge indicator, constant charge, full charge, off, low power flashing. And then media controls, da da da. The toggle to switch. Okay, you can forcibly enter Bluetooth mode. Battery sleep mode, it goes to sleep after 30 seconds. Um, pairing time can take up to 90 seconds. And, uh, okay, so it can take up to 30 seconds to connect, up to 90 seconds to pair. And if there's no keyboard action for two minutes, all lights will be automatically turned off after power saving. Low power indicator, the blue light. Okay, I did. I thought I did see a blue light. There is a two LEDs, so I guess that blue light is the charging indicator, um, and it flashes when um, it's low, and it will keep blue solid on the space key. It will turn off when the battery is fully charged. So, no power shut down. All right, so doesn't talk about any software I doubt if it has any I don't know if it has any remapping uh, it comes with the USB cable and that's it uh, it's a it's about as Spartan as you can go but um, let's see. I think it's a good enough base I think I can do something with it should be interesting We'll be giving it a go. But anyway, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing of this video. Um, I still have to go through and test, make sure all these uh, hot swap sockets are good. And if they are, then I'm going to keep it as a little project board. And who knows, maybe I'll do a reverse sticker bomb, like a sticker bomb from the inside. Like I said, I'm going to do something creative with this. And actually, um, instead of trying to hide the white light, I want to use the white light. I don't know how. But um, if you guys got any ideas, please share them in the comments. Um, but I will for sure be coming back um, to see. I mean, I'm looking at the case, and I'm even wondering. Well, no, it doesn't. Never mind. If the... if this was a daughter board which is not you can see that that's right on the uh, I was gonna say maybe I could try to add you know burger o rim mount or even do a, f a friction o ring but um, it's not a daughter board it's straight on the uh, PCB right there so 
none of that. But we can definitely make it look cool and make it sound pretty good. I think this should be a fun little project. So um, hope you guys enjoyed that quick unboxing and my thoughts on this keyboard. I think it's hilarious that it comes with a 200 milliamp hour battery. I don't usually use wireless, so no big deal. I mean, obviously 200 milliamp. I mean, I, I can't even remember when the phone did phones even have that bat that small of a battery. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'll be back with this one. Until then, keep calm and keyboard on, fellow keyboardists.